one last look as we're leaving. This has been an amazing park. Okay, the line getting into the park has not ended. It just keeps going. Yes, it does. Just thankful that we're going the other direction right now. I mean, it just keeps going. Yeah. So far, I guess maybe a mile and a half, two miles maybe. Yeah. And you see that you think that there you think it's the end and it's just a gap. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished our Saturday shopping. <laughs> Pit stop in Clovis, California. Shout out. Much easier to get around in with a trailer than it was in Fresno, I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, we tried Fresno first and decided against it. Let's just moved down to Clovis a little bit. So we got our propane filled. Propane refilled. We went to the grocery store. We had to go to Sam's for, Sam's Club for a bit. Had to have an in and out burger moment. Mm -hmm. And now I'm happy. And we're good to go. And now we're ready to hit the mountains because it's 83 here. It's, it's going to be in the yeah. 60s where we're going. Yep. And there may even be snow in our campsite. So, hey, fingers crossed. What? Could be. Okay. Some we'll of them are still closed due to snow. That was our original our original campsite. Got, they got canceled because they haven't opened it up yet because of all the snow. Okay. So. Adventure awaits. Okay. So we are just at the gate to Kings Canyon, and there is a sequoia, a giant sequoia, Looks right like it's there. It's hollow. It sure does. I forgot to check my lightning or something. I don't know. It's still thriving though. So after leaving Yosemite, Christy and I um, headed on into Sequoia and Kings Canyon. And originally we had uh, planned to, to stay in both Sequoia and Kings Canyon. Sequoia is pretty much closed in, any, in all of the areas where you can actually see Sequoia trees. I mean, Kings Canyon is open only in a little small part. So our options have been pretty limited. Um, what you're looking at behind me is Kings Canyon and it is spectacular. Um, we're staying in uh, a couple of nights in the Princess Campground, which Princess Campground is actually in the Sequoia National Forest, not in the national parks. Um, but you have to go through Kings Canyon near Grants Grove in order to get there. And so today we've just been out exploring the, the road that goes into Kings Canyon. The Kings Canyon Highway, I think, is currently closed but it closes at where the turnoff for uh, Hume Lake. So we drove down the Hume Lake Road. Hume Lake's pretty cool, it's a man-made lake. Um, has, there's a big Christian camp, a lot of campgrounds near there. The road is decent, it's bumpy, but paved. Um, and then we're gonna go check out Grants Grove. And honestly, this is just gonna be a time for us to just sit back and relax. There's not a whole lot to do here. I mean, there's not a whole lot of scenic drives. Uh, you can hike to your heart's content in the mountains here. But we're pretty high up and there's a lot of, I mean, there's quite a bit of snow. We talked to the camp hosts at Princess and they said two weeks ago, they weren't sure if they were gonna be able to open this week because of this, the campground was covered in snow. But, um, but they're open, thankfully. What's pretty cool um, in the Princess campground, another thing is there are a lot of sequoia stumps, unfortunately. And so the history there is that, I guess before it was national forest land, it was being logged. I mean, you know, it was in the early 1900s. It was before it was protected land. And they, uh, you know, they logged it for, for the lumber. 
um, and you can still see the remnants of that hundred over a hundred plus years later you can still see the big humongous stumps of the sequoia trees that were taken down for, to be used for lumber thankfully right the wisdom greater wisdom prevailed and and we're protecting those those trees you know so just for for you know for people like you and me just to be able to come and view and be inspired and awed by the sheer wonder of these humongous trees forgot Jonah Grant also also known as the nation's Christmas tree and it is just a an incredibly huge 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 monument of nature We're staying at a KOA tonight. Yep, it was kind of a last minute decision. We um, we we were gonna have a really long drive into southern Utah, but decided we wanted to break it up a little bit. So we're near Bar Barstow, California, just off of, just off of Route 66, I guess, and uh, in a KOA there. Just and you know, I was worried that it was gonna be super hot, but it's actually pretty pleasant. But we are in the desert for sure. Yeah, we made sure we had electricity just in case we needed just, to run the air conditioning. Yeah, and we have run it a little bit, but overall, I mean, now that the sun's going down, it's pretty been pretty pleasant. So. so tonight, we are having steak hoagies and chips, and we are watching the new Dungeons & Dragons movie.